Hello, this is John from MyBrainOnGames.com, and I'm here to play Alien 3 on the Sega Genesis. I just picked this up last weekend. Uh, within the past month or so, I had gone back and watched the Alien, uh, the set of Alien movies. I'd never seen any of the originals, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, or Alien Resurrection. Well, I've seen a bits and pieces of Alien Resurrection on TV at one point. I had seen Prometheus in theaters, and that was kind of my first exposure to the franchise. Outside of just knowing about the various video games that have released over the years. Uh, this is, of course, Alien 3. And this is a tie-in to the movie. This was released on the Sega Genesis in North America in 1992. Uh, this version was developed by Probe Entertainment. Uh, they handled a lot of the development of this game on various European PCs and other home platforms in at this time, and this was published by Arena Entertainment, who is a company who is now defunct, I believe. Uh, you don't see that name around outside of maybe Genesis games, and doing a little bit of reading beforehand, it looks like this was actually just a publishing label for another company, a company called Mirsoft, which, again, I'm not familiar with. Uh, but Probe Entertainment, they later became Acclaim Studios Cheltenham, however you pronounce that, British town. I don't know if they're still around. I don't know if they went by the wayside with the claim back in the early in mid 2000s. But I played a little bit of this game uh, last weekend whenever I first picked it up. But been Jones in a play on the Sega Genesis or the 32X, so thought I'd record a video of myself playing this and see how far I can get, or maybe I can get through the whole thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check out the options first. Let's see what we're dealing with. We got three tries, normal difficulty, controls, and music and the sound. One thing I will say about it, the soundtrack, I kind of dug the soundtrack, really dug the soundtrack now I think about it. Gameplay not so hot, but you know, this was a licensed video game back when those were still rarely, rarely good. It's decent. Okay, so we're playing as... Ellen Ripley, protagonist of the movies here. Fending off these xenomorphs. We are on the... We are on the USS Soloco. Sola, Soleco? I'm not, not sure. One of the ships from the movies. And the objective of this game, each stage there's a handful of... Uh, captives. You can see that guy down there in the center of the screen. Uh, and you can see them on the... What is that? The that radar detector. It's called something specific from the movies, but I'm not recalling what it is at the moment. All right, got it. Uh, but anyways, up at the top, we see we got three minutes, roughly three minutes to complete this stage. We've got eight hostages to rescue, and we've got all these aliens to deal with. Uh, I've got a handful of different weapons. There, you just witnessed the grenades. Uh, this one's her machine gun. I think what is it? Plasma rifle from the movie. Uh, we got a flamethrower, and then we've got a rocket launcher. And that's all we gotta do to rescue them. Just walk past them. Okay, let's jump. C is jump. C is jump. I'm gonna wanna jump. Okay. Yeah, see, I wanted to jump that gap because she can't walk up this too much of an incline. Okay, let's keep on going. Keep on going. Oh. Can't shoot sideways whenever you're on this. Deal with these things once you get down here. Okay. There's two more. We're making good progress. Switch weapons just in case something sneaks up on me. Okay, I think this is the end of the stage. So we gotta backtrack and try and find four more hostages to rescue. And there's an alien down there, but there's nothing. That's just a dead end. We're gonna avoid that. Don't wanna fall in those fans. Gotta let's Break through that door, get back to, uh, let's do a flamethrower. You can see an alien right there. There's gonna be two down here. Okay. Let's see, come on, bring it on. Oh, they brought it. Okay, I was getting worried I wasn't gonna hit him. Trying to get off the ladder. Oh my gosh. There we go. Trying 
get off the ladder is pain in the butt unless you're at the very top. Alright, we got two hostages. The remaining two remaining. Got a mint. Okay, shoot, we got one left. Well, at least I didn't die. Where's this final... Final hostage. Pretty sure there's no one down there. I think I gotta go all the way back up to the top of the ship. something with a little more long range just in case I encounter a xenomorph thirty seconds remaining but we see the last one okay let's try and book it to the exit we're gonna make it Ooh, I hope we're gonna make it We're not going to make it. Oh my goodness, we're going to be so close. I guess we weren't super close. I mean, we were in the room. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we got a second shot at this. We know where everyone's at. You know, made it seem fairly easy that first time, but honestly, if I had done this stage like probably three or four times last weekend, whenever I first played it, just to I mean, familiarize myself with it, this that's kind of the one downside to this. I, I mean, I don't know if it's a downside per se. And what I'm getting at is, I mean, you got to learn the environment. This involves trial and error, where these aliens are going to pop up, where the xenomorphs are going to pop up. So this game is a lot of trial and error. Honestly, I don't find that terribly fun. Uh, it varies on a game-by-game -game basis. Okay. Let me switch. Yeah, switch up. We will just wait for him to get to the top. Uh, we'll go this way first. You know, a lot of trial and error. I, I'm generally not a fan of that. But I don't know. Because it just depends how how much you want to like. Oh gosh, how much you want to like the game. I did not care for. Out of all the Alien movies, you know, I'd seen Prometheus in theaters. That was kind of my first first film experience with them. Saw a bit of Resurrection on TV at some point. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, but. Whenever I got this uh, collection on Blu-ray, it was my first time to watch Alien and Aliens and Alien 3. Uh, Alien I liked. Uh, I liked Aliens more, I think. I think that's probably my favorite. Definitely probably had more respect for Alien just because it was the first. You know, I started that. Started that series. And Alien 3, I just did not care for. It was a dark, grungy movie. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like that and Alien Resurrection just... Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection, they were both kind of really milking the franchise at that point. Okay, we got these final two down here. Ah. Let's go ahead and take care of this. So, they're both. Maybe not. Let's see, maybe this flamethrower will be more effective. I don't have to aim down or crouch. Eh, I still have to crouch. Okay, now we've got it. Okay, well done. And of course you get, you get points because this is a game from the 80s or the 90s. Uh, all Every game back then had points for no apparent reason. Some games you can understand, like if you're an arcade game, you want to set a high score. In this game, setting a high score is fine, but I don't know, and you're really going to compete with other people in this game? Oh yeah, that's great. Starts me right off in the Xenomorph, but then again, it's kind of bumped me back here and showed me that little secret room. Okay, we've got five hostages and three... Well, four minutes. We have four minutes to start. Okay, we've got 
that one. But you know what? I, I, do, I do have to say, I do find something appealing about this game, otherwise I wouldn't be playing it again. So take that for what, what it is. This is gonna... Oh, wasn't so hard getting off those... Let's just, let's just keep going. I see that hostage up there. Let's, let's not even worry about that. Okay, we got two left and three minutes remaining. Looks like we got some. Oh, maybe. Okay, it looks like that the radar detector, the heat sensor, whatever they called it in the movies, looks like that may take batteries, and that's why it was disappearing for me earlier. Shit. Oh. Well, that was probably audible, so. Uh oh. I can curse now. Dropped one. I can. I can just start letting them fly. There we go. Got 68 rockets. On top. I'm not gonna use all 68 of those. I do like. The, oh, great. I do like just the plasma rifle because a lot of times these xenomorphs will just pop up off screen or pop up right as. Your screen's continuing to scroll. Pop up in the corner. Give you a little time to react. This at least goes all the way. Ammunition for this goes all the way to the corner. Let you know, hey, you'll be, we'll leave we'll leave those batteries there. Ammunition for this plasma rifle, whatever it is. We don't need we don't immediately need either. And if we do need it, we know where to come to. Got some health. that jump a bit. Okay, yeah. And now my radar's dying, so let's see if those are truly batteries for it. Sure enough. Oh, hey. We've got a little tunnel here, too. The air vent. Popular, uh... Popular set for the Aliens franchise. This is the exit. Well, let's see if our rocket won't bust it open, that's the exit. Yeah, great. <coughs> so we got another battery pack or whatever for our radar. Xenomorphs, and we've got a dead end. Great. Right. Nothing there. So great. That killed time and some of Ripley's health. Two remaining, a minute and a half. Not seeing any on our radar detector. We know where the exit's at. Okay, so that's that. Let's give it one more shot. Well, let's see if we're gonna have to start in stage one. Got a high score of 11, 113,600 points. Final score and high score. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to start off at the stage one. Okay, we should be able to just blow through this though. Okay. 
limiting you on ammo just does prevent you from just running, running and gunning. Because that's the nice thing about the plasma rifle, the assault rifle, whatever it is. You just hold down the trigger and you keep going. Granted, it causes some slowdown, but that's not too impactful. Whenever you can't get enough bullets into the enemy, though, that is impactful. Let's use a flamethrower or some. Like I said, let's use the flamethrower or some now. Get up quickly. Let's see, let's not even deal with it. Let's just kind of let's not even deal with that am ammo either. Let's just get this guy and go. It's a nice little touch. Them ramming their heads into that. Okay, we got four remaining. We know there's at least two at the end, and there's one up. Hop in the middle section, then gotta jump down to avoid the incline. And there's the fourth one. Okay, so we'll go up here. This guy, that. Take a jump. We got these two down here. Okay. Again, though, that trial and error does allow you to do stuff like that. Really, just cruise through the stage once you memorize where the prisoners are, the hostages. Alright, let's see if we can get beyond stage two. I'm not sure how many stages are in this game. I didn't think to look. Okay, so we've got what should be ample time to find this remaining prisoner. Two and a half minutes. Let's see what takes us all the way over here. Okay, and let's get back to our machine gun, because it'll not always give us enough time to... Okay, so this is the final set, final ladder. Just ammo, but we do see the final prisoner down there. So how do we get there? There goes our radar. Looks like we were on the right track. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Just about died. Okay, gotta be careful. 
really need to find some help. Oh my goodness, trying to creep my way forward. Got too cocky. Paid the price. Okay, we know where all the prisoners are now, so we should be able to get this stage done quickly. I think there's ammunition for this weapon in here, is that right? Yes. I think that's ammunition for everything. So we're good, we've got fresh set of ammo. Let's take care of the xenomorphs. Rest of these hostages quick. Oh god. Couldn't line up or couldn't get off the ladder in time, so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna jump to the next one, but it lunged at me and got me. Oh my god, dang it. Oh my gosh. Real crappy. Okay, we got some health though. Looks like we're pretty much back up to full. There goes the radar, although, honestly, don't really need the radar. Shot it while standing, needed to shoot it while crouched. Oh my gosh. And it came back. Okay, got about half health. One remaining. Oh, out of ammo. We know it's not the final ladder, but the next to final ladder. So here we are. Oh man, this is gonna put us with very little health again. Wonder if there's a way to do that and avoid taking health. Or excuse me, avoid taking damage. Just about did it again. Let's. This is gonna be rough. Okay, just disappeared. Okay, we know where we're at. We got this one to deal with. This one will be easy. Can I take it out with that? Alright. We got that back and we got ammunition for our for my favorite gun. Let's see. Alright. Okay, I thought I saw one. Looks like we may make it. This is the exit up top. No, exit's down below. Right, I believe exits below. We got 30 seconds. I think we can do this. We're gonna find out. Oh. Had some, oh! Had some waiting for us at the end. Forgot of they either I either forgot they were there or they weren't the first time we went through stage two. Okay, but we made it through stage two. Let's see what stage three is like. I think I've got two tries remaining. Yeah, two tries. But I think after this, this will probably be a good enough length video for this little playthrough, this little check in it, this little checking this game out, this little let's play whatnot. So we have five minutes allotted to get this stage done. Let's go back down. Okay. At least, hey, okay, hey, it doesn't completely kill you. Just 
removes a chunk of health. Jeez, this is like the pit ball stage. Okay, we've got two of the five rescued. About 45 seconds. Man, is this gonna be like the exit? Going through these air ducts is kind of slow. It's not what we need to be doing if this is not going to yield any hostages. It looks like it may. Got something up top. Oh my gosh. Screw you. Okay, well, here's the final try for stage three, and it looks like going down is just pretty much worthless. Let's see what's up to you. you know, going down is pretty much worthless. Maybe that's the exit. Oh my gosh, this is... Kind of frustrating. Just kind of. Just, just kind of. two hostages down where we came from and it's taking us right back there. So, we've gone down the second ladder here. Is there another ladder? There is, and we got a little assistance in getting down it. Give you a lot of room to deal with these aliens. Okay. We know where the final two hostages are, we just need to find the exit. We think it's through that set of air ducts. prisoners, whatnot, have been rescued. Let's see if we can get to the exit. Oh my gosh. That was bullshit. Oh man, that was total bullshit. It's like this little circu circuitous set of ladders. Blow them away 
away quickly before we get near him. Still got two minutes, but we got we can take like one. And there it is. There's that one hit. Okay. Well, this is pretty much 30 minutes on the dot, and I've had my fill with this game. Uh, it's challenging. So there's that, but it's challenging really only in the sense that it requires a lot of. A lot of uh, failure. A lot of experimentation. Like, oh, well, now I know this xenomorph is going to pop out here, and I just need to always have my machine gun equipped. Um, I don't know. It captures the grungy, dirty look of the Alien 3 movie, a movie that I cared not for. And kind of the same thing with this game. I could take it or leave it. It's just, it's just a licensed movie title from the 90s, back when, like I said, those quality ones of those were few and far between, pretty much, what, relegated just to the Disney platformers? I don't know. But, there's Alien 3 for the Sega Genesis, uh, developed by Probe, published by Arena Entertainment, or maybe Acclaim Entertainment, I don't know. It's got an Acclaim copyright in there. Anyways, this was John from MyBrainOnGames.com. Check me out there. I'll probably write up this game now that I've played a, a little bit more of it. Uh, you can also follow me on YouTube, JohnTheGamer0077. And you can follow me on Twitter, at John Ingle. Uh, thank you for watching, and come back.